Welcome to Caribbean Kitchen with Siani. We're talking about the channel that gives you knowledge about food preparation and step-by-step instruction. You can't miss. Remember to click the subscribe button and the post notification bell. If you like, give it a thumbs up and then share. Welcome or welcome back to Caribbean Kitchen with Siani. We have been making a little of this and a little of that. So today we are gonna take you on fashion and make breadfruit salad. So these are all the ingredients that I will be using to make the breadfruit salad. These are some vegetables and spice. We have chopped onions, scallions, thyme, garlic, sweet pepper. I have some shredded carrots, eggs, this is the main ingredient, the breadfruit, and it is just a piece, it's not a whole breadfruit. And then we have mayonnaise. So these are all the ingredients that I will be using. In preparing the pot for the breadfruit, to cook the breadfruit rather, and pouring the water in the pot, I'm going to add the salt and then Put it on the flame and peel the breadfruit so to, to peel the breadfruit i will be cutting it in slices you can do this in water so i'm going to cut it in slices so i'm going to give you a riddle right now riddle me this riddle me that guess me this riddle or perhaps not who brought breadfruit to jamaica is it christopher columbus or captain Bly? Leave your comment down below. And then I'm going to get rid of the skin. And this part here, you want to get rid of it as well. So I'm going to cut it out. Uh -huh. So I'm going to put it in this container. And I will continue until all of them are finished. When I am through peeling the breadfruit, I'm going to cut it in smaller pieces. In doing this, it will be easier to cook and because it is the breadfruit salad that we are making, the pieces are required to be small. By the way, breadfruit carries stains, it will stain your hands. So feel free to go ahead and use a pair of gloves to prevent your hands from getting stains on it. After cutting them in small slices, I'm going to wash them and put them to boil. So as I stated, I am cutting these in smaller pieces. While I'm cutting them, I just want to give you some information about breadfruit. Breadfruit has a lot of vitamins and minerals. Breadfruit is rich in omega-3. I learned that about two to three years ago. I have no proof though. And breadfruit can be used to make a lot of things. One of them is a potato is the breadfruit salad you don't have to use potato to make a salad again remember you can use the breadfruit um i ha have a breadfruit punch video coming up cannot tell you exactly when but look out for it soon so as i am almost finished i will be adding this washing this and putting it to the pot shortly so i am not going to wait until the water comes to a boil but i'm just going to add them and it's just the same if you notice i have cut them in smaller pieces so i'm now going to add it to the pot and i'm going to cover it back and leave it to boil for about 
30 minutes or 25 to 30 minutes to ensure that it is properly cooked. While the bread food is boiling, I am putting the eggs to boil as well. And I decided that I need to put some seasoning in the bread food so that the bread food can develop a lot of, um, or develop some flavor while it cooks. So we're going to allow it to continue to boil until it is through. In testing to see if the bread food is finished cooking, where I am going to use a fork. You can use a fork and bore through one of the cubes. And if it goes through easily, then yes, it is um, finished cooking. If not, give it a little more time and let it continue to cook. The breadfruit is now finished cooking. I am transferring it from the pot to the dish so that it can cool. But then I realized it will not cool fast enough in the dish. So I removed it from the dish and put it in a plate. You can also put it in the fridge if you, you are in a hurry. So I looked around the kitchen and I found some raisin. I chopped them and decided that I am going to put it in the salad. And here I have stripped and chop the eggs you do not have to use the yolk of the egg if you don't want to if you want to then you can feel free i'm going to use the yolk of mine in it and for the carrots i will not be putting it on any heat because you know that carrot is a water soluble vitamin has water soluble vitamin and the least eat to put to it then they will disappear so it is best to eat the carrot raw now these are the vegetables that i'm going to saute except for the thyme i'll be using the thyme for garlic for garnish rather so i'm going to saute these vegetables in cooking oil just for a few seconds to try to get the flavors out and then i'll be combining it with the breadfruit and the rest of the ingredients So, this has been done over, over low heat. And to test, just to test if the oil is hot, what we can do is to drop just a piece of the seasoning in. You realize that it's just starting to hot. So you want it to hot a little bit more and then we can add the rest of the seasoning. Now, we are not going to let it fry straight or but we're just going to saute remember that we're not going to use the thyme because the thyme is for the garnish in sauteing the seasonings you do not have to use oil you can use butter butter will give the salad more flavor i'm about to combine all the ingredients so i will be doing it in this dish and so i add the bread food first and we'll add the rest of the ingredients in my opinion it does not matter which ingredient you add first just ensure that the last ingredient you add is the mayonnaise The amount of mayonnaise that you need to add is up to you. you. Don't want to add. You're going to ensure that you properly combine all the ingredients because you do not want to have any clumps of the same ingredients. So ensure that it is properly mixed. This is the finished product. It's yummy. It's delicious. You can decide if you want to have this for dinner. Thank you so much for watching again. Caribbean Kitchen with Sienny.